Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you that Binance US is now open for business and give you a little sneak peek of their platform. So let's dive in. This is their homepage. It's Binance.us or www.binance.us and I'm on the English landing page. Looks like they've got zero trading fees for all trading pairs before November 1st. So that's pretty cool. So I'm just going to do the old register. I'll say that I'm over 18. <clears throat> we'll do their little thingy. All right, and they're going to send me an email to confirm that. So I'll just open a, another tab there. We'll confirm that. And there we go. We got an activated account. Let's uh, log in. All right, and I was going to do this, but uh, they're reminding me the first thing we'll want to do is enable two-factor authentication for our account. I like Google Authenticator, so I'm going to hit Google Authenticator. All right, uh, I've already got the app on my phone. All right, so what we're going to want to do is open up our Google Authenticator, and then uh, we'll create a new account, uh, scan barcode. We'll scan in that barcode, and then uh, at the bottom of our list of codes, we'll have Binance US at. All right, so then we'll hit next. Uh, they'll want us to copy that code down in case we lose our phone. And then we're going to add the Google Authenticator code from our phone down here and submit. All right, so now we've got two-factor authentication enabled. Let's go over to our wallet, which should be empty at this point. Now, uh, everything is blocked out. Uh, so if you want to reveal all of your holdings, there's this little uh, eye icon up here that's got a little cross through it. You can just click that to reveal everything. All right, so let's uh, put some Bitcoin in there to fund the account. Okay, so I've got a little Bitcoin over in this account. All right, so what we're going to want to do is deposit some of our Bitcoin into our Binance account. So we'll simply go over here to the BTC. We'll hit deposit and let's see. So before they're going to allow us to deposit, we need to do the basic verification. This is the KYC that we've all heard about. Know your customer it needs to be fully compliant with US regulations. So I'm just going to hit verify. Uh, it's personal. <laughs> I'm going to give them my full name. All right, so I got myself verified. We got everything good. We've got the basic verification ready to roll, which means we can deposit some crypto in this account. Okay, yeah, so down here they have payment management where uh, you can do fiat account verification and bank account verification, so pretty cool. But I'm just going to show you how to do the basic deposit of some Bitcoin into your account. So I'm going to go over here to Wallet. And under Bitcoin, I'm going to do deposit. And I have been uh, given an address. This is a unique Bitcoin address for my Binance Bitcoin wallet. So uh, this is the address that, a uh, unique address that when I send Bitcoin to this address, it will show up in my account. So I'll just do a copy address here. I'll copy that into my clipboard. And I'm going to move over to my Ledger Live interface. Uh, I store most of my uh, cryptocurrency on my Ledger device, a hardware wallet. All right, so I'm just going to go over here to Accounts and I'll go to uh, my Bitcoin account. And I'll send uh, 0.03 Bitcoin over there, see how things go. All right, so uh, now we can uh, go ahead and send some crypto over. First thing we'll do is we'll paste in that uh, Binance address. That's my Binance US address. And uh, how much I'm gonna send, 0 0.03. So I'm gonna hit continue there. All right, and now I need to, uh, I've already got the Bitcoin app open. So I'm gonna hit continue. All right, so I sent out that Bitcoin into my Binance account. 
I can just uh, dismiss this. And uh, after a sync, it should uh, show that it's pr pretty much empty at this point. Then now this is my wallet, which I'm sending over to Binance. So I can go to Binance here and go to deposit and withdrawal history. Just refresh for a minute or two and wait for that uh, deposit to show up. Oh, it looks like they've got crypto and fiat here. So I'm going to go over to crypto. Uh, I still don't see it yet. All right, so the BTC uh, showed up in my Binance account. There was no confirmation process. It waited until it was fully confirmed before it actually showed up as a deposit. So that's a little different from uh, the old Binance, but nevertheless, uh, the balance has now uh, been updated. So as you can see, I have an estimated value of $300. Uh, they this estimated value for the entire portfolio is measured in US dollars and you can see here that uh, Bitcoin the balance is 0.03 Bitcoin with uh, the US dollar value here and also take note that there aren't that many cryptocurrencies yet only about seven uh, including Tether which is a stable coin so they had mentioned that they were going to have about 30 cryptocurrencies uh, and as of yet they're not uh, available I believe that at this point uh, they're just uh, open for deposits so there's really no trading that uh, can take place yet if you look over here in the trades there's no uh, BTC p trading pairs just US dollar and tether so really uh, they're just open mostly for deposits uh, so uh, that's what we can do so far all right, so there you have it. Binance US is now open for business, taking deposits. Uh, I set up my account. I got myself verified, uh, enabled two-step verification, and made a deposit. So stay tuned for more videos where I'll go even more in depth on how we use Binance US. Hope to see you there. Don't forget I have a live stream every Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please join me for my live Q&A live from Michigan where you can throw out your questions on the fly and I'll do my best to get them answered right then and there. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.